Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Basic Breakdown. I'm here in the filming studio at Massive Joe's headquarters with resident purveyor of the world's best pre-workouts, Vincenzo. Oh, what's going on? What's happening, man? How you doing? This Basic Breakdown is, it's highly anticipated, Vince. This it one. is. It's not on a new pre-workout, but it's a new reformulation yeah. of a pre-workout that was very popular. Unfortunately, in the Australian marketplace, it got caught by the uh, TGA trap, shall we call it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the TGA banned a bunch of ingredients. One of them was Dynamine, the stimulant, back in November 2020. This product was taken off the market because it used to contain Dynamine. It did. It's now come back on the market with a new reformulation. Dynamite, dynamine free dynamite, dynamite formula. Free. Vince. Yes. Magic pre. Oh. V2. We're calling it V2. Fuck it. It is. We're yeah. just, we're, we're, Too we're bad. Going, we're going, it's V2 we're, now. We're got, it's V2. It's V2 now. Let's dive straight in, Vince. Let's take a look at this all new reformulated Magic Pre. Let's do it. So your serving size is 16 grams. Um, which they don't actually write. They just write per serve, so they don't tell you if it's one scoop or two scoops. It's, it's definitely one. Yeah, one scoop. Actually, yeah, one, one scoop. So one scoop, 16 grams. Mm -hmm. um, and of that, there is 11 calories in here, made up of a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbohydrates. Yeah, I don't really know where they're coming from with that, but it's just to meet Australian label requirements. Exactly. Really, yeah. you have to kind of list out all the calories. You have to list it per 100 grams, which is why it's, because you know, we would take 100 gram serves of pre-workout. Uh, but it does. is, it is what it is. Let's dive in, Vince. Let's take a look at these active ingredients. We have nine. Nine. Nine is the magic number. It is. Let's go. So from the top, l citrulline malate is mm -hmm. your first one in the yep. 6,000 milligram dose um, in there to increase blood flow and muscle pumps, essentially. That is your full clinical dose, l citrulline obviously a precursor to arginine. Yep. It's going to boost nitric oxide levels. Then we go into some betaine and hydrous yep. in the uh, 2,500 milligrams. Mm. In there for more muscle power, it can help with muscle hydration a little bit as well. Yep. Um, yeah. And not a bad, do you would actually say clinical dose. It is, right? It's yeah. kind of a dosing range for, for betaine, but two and a half grams is, is pretty much the bang on the clinical dose. Correct. Uh, betaine is a precursor to creatine. Yeah. Uh, so it helps particularly with muscle power through that process of creatine being a precursor to adenosine triphosphate. Helps you move that light weight like bags of feathers, baby. Then we get into some beta alanine in the 2,000 milligram dose, yep. which is in there to help reduce fatigue. Yes. It's a little bit underdosed, so we'd like to see at least 3,200 milligrams. Yeah, beta alanine uh, you know, helps buffer the buildup of fatigue toxins, hydrogen ions, lactic acid, that yep. sort of thing. Uh, it is underdosed. We need 3.2 grams at least. A lot of studies now are even showing like double that amount. I think up is, to like seven, is I think. Kind, yeah, yeah, it's kind of the sweet spot. At 2,000 milligrams, it is underdosed, but it does work synergistically with the next ingredient, Vince. It does, which is your PICO2 in mm. the 2,000 milligram dose, which yep. is your full clinical dose of PICO2. It is. Uh, PICO2 is a blend of, I think, six different mushroom extracts, mm -hmm. um, which does a few things. It helps kind of bring in more oxygen, which is gonna help um, increase time to exhaustion, increase maximum power output. Yep. Um, and strength and stuff like that as well. Yeah, and so. particularly has quite a nice effect on muscular endurance. Yes. Uh, which is why we get some synergism between the beta alanine and the Pico2 to really kind of push that, to help you help you train harder for longer, yep. stimulate more muscle growth, burn more calories and improve your body composition. Exactly. Speaking of synergism, Vince, the yes. next ingredient works synergistically with the betaine. It does. And that is? Your creatine hydrochloride is a 750 milligram dose. Yep. Which isn't a bad dose. I probably would have liked to see at least a gram. Yeah. Um, but not a bad dose of creatine. Obviously, creatine in there to increase uh, ATP production, mm -hmm. um, which is going to increase muscle power. Yeah. And works synergistically with the betaine and hydrous. And one of the things betaine is, is a precursor to creatine. So yep. once again, both of those ingredients, well, creatine is kind of underdosed. Betaine is clinical dose but towards the lower end, but we do have the synergism between the two when it comes to muscle power. Yeah. And then Vince, we, we get, get into, into some uh, some new tropics and some stems. We do. So some rhodiola rosa yep. in the four to one uh, ratio mm -hmm. and a 500 milligram dose of this. Mm -hmm. Rhodiola um, helps kind of fight symptoms of kind of stress. So uh, with fatigue and depression and stuff yeah. like that. So really in there for kind of mood elevation. Yeah. Um, and from what I saw, it does work on a bell-shaped curve as well. It does. So 500 milligrams is really your sweet spot. Yeah, and if you have too much rhodiola, uh, it can kind of have a, 
negative effect. It can, it yeah. It can make you feel kind of shit. So yeah. <laughs> so. that, uh, that dose is, is really bang on at the top of the bell and that bell-shaped curve. It is, And, yeah. uh, you know, primarily it's, it's in there to increase mood. Yeah. It's kind of going to help you feel nice. It's going to, um, you know, I guess kind of get you in that, that feel-good space while you're training as well. Yeah. Then we get into some tear crane, which is they've swapped out the dynamine in this, which yep. is um, and replaced it with tear crane. Yeah. Um, in the 150 milligram dose, which is a decent dose of tear crane. It is. It's not a stimulant, but pairs very well with caffeine, which we'll get into in a minute. Yeah. Um, it helps kind of prolong those effects of caffeine mm. um, with no crash or anything thing like that from tear crane. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it kind of prolongs those effects of caffeine. And I want to come back to the tea or cream, Vince, but I just want to get the next couple of ingredients because I want to explain to the viewers the difference in effect between yep. the original version of Magic Pre that had dynamine yeah. and now this V2, which has tea or cream instead, because there is quite a significant difference in what there you is. actually feel. Definitely, yeah. But onto the caffeine. We're getting some caffeine and hydrous mm. in the 350 milligram dose, yep. which for me is a really good dose. Yeah. Um, not nice. too strong, not, yeah, perfect. Yeah. And the perfect amount to, to tee up with tear cream to get that long lasting energetic effect. It is, yeah. Uh, you know, it's great that Magic haven't just thrown 350, 400 milligrams and just done the, I call it, lazy formulation for pre-workouts is just to bump up the stimulant so that you feel something. Yeah. Uh, they've really kept that caffeine quite quite, quite uh, low, really, yeah, really. For, for a pre-workout of this caliber, which is good because I personally get help all the time. People like, tell me the pre-workout, tell me your top pre-workout that's got less than 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. And at the moment, it'd be magic pre because all of them go over. Even I had a customer this morning. Yeah. So I wanted a pre-workout yeah. without too much caffeine because they yeah. had something really high steam, wanted yeah. to cut it back a bit. Yeah, there you go. And so. ninth and final ingredient, Vince. Cell charge um, in the 100 milligram dose. Mm -hmm. Um, which does a few things. It helps improve gut health, nutrient absorption, which I'm guessing is really what it's in here for. Yeah. Um, helps reduce inflammation, boost immunity, help with sleep as well. So you're seeing cell charge and a few other things come out now. Yes. Um, 100 milligrams is the clinical dose of cell charge yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's primarily an uptake ingredient. It really. is, yeah. That's kind of how I think of cell charge. It's kind of like an estrogen type thing, um, maybe like a bioparin type ingredient. Yeah. It's just a different way of getting there, but helps your body absorb all of these active ingredients we've yeah. just spoken about. Vince, I just want to address this dynamine to tear cream thing. Yes. So for viewers who are unaware or perhaps need a little refresher, dynamine and teocrine are at opposite ends of a uh, stimulant effect, meaning that dynamine hits very quickly, very um, sharply, and is a very good, uh, I mean, technically it's not a stimulant as well, but is a very good ingredient for boosting energy very quickly, yeah. but then drops off very quickly as well. Teocrine is the polar opposite. It comes on much more slowly. It has a much longer tail at the end of it and is really good for sustaining energy over a longer period of time. Yeah. So one of the things that Magic have achieved by this reformulation, the original Magic Pre was very much like a smack you in the face pre-workout. You take that shit, yeah. you're like dancing on the ceilings within a couple of minutes. This new formulation is vastly different in the actual effect to the original, meaning that it comes on a lot slower and hangs around a lot longer. Yeah. So I'm kind of referring to this now as like a, a, a sustained energy yeah. pre-workout. Uh, and I think that it's important to, to uh, clarify because a lot of people really love the original Magic Pre. They did, yeah. And if you come in and expect to get very similar effects from an energy perspective with this reformulation, it's gonna be completely different. I mean, even from that, Dynamine by itself mm. is a stimulant. Oh, is it? Teocrine is not. Oh, there you go. That's my bad. So I get confused sometimes. Yeah. Um, Teocrine isn't a stimulant. It has yep. no effect on your heart rate, blood pressure, or anything like that. Yep. Um, but it's going to extend that ca the effects of the caffeine. Well, there you go. And there you go. And that's exactly what 100%. it does. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a great formula. Uh, they've really done a great job at Magic. You consider the five effects that we look for in yeah. complete simulant-based pre-workouts. You go muscle pumps, tick, full clinical dose of citrulline malate. Yeah. The pumps are not going to last that long, but you're getting the increase in nitric oxide, the increase in nutrient delivery, and the muscle pumps from that from that full clinical dose. Yeah. You then look at muscle power. You've got the synergism between the betaine and hydrous and the creatine. Mm -hmm. You then look at muscular endurance. You've got the synergism between the beta alanine and the PCO2. Yep. You then look at... Uh, 
uh, elevation in mood and mental focus. You've got your rhodiola in there, so they kind of miss the mark with, with mental focus. Yeah. But they get the elevation in mood, and then from an energy perspective, it's that slow, sustained release, smooth energy from the combination of the caffeine and the tea crank. Yeah. It's good shit on paper, man. It is, yeah. Flavors, price, availability. Two flavors at the moment. Yep. So a party mix and a rainbow trip. Mm -hmm. Um, and price, you're looking at sixty nine ninety five mm -hmm. for twenty serves, which is fair, man. It it's is, a fair, yeah. it's a fair price, you know, for for this caliber of uh, of pre workout. They probably could have even gone a little more. They, could they probably yeah. could have gone seventy nine ninety five, make it four bucks a scoop, because that is kind of where the top shelf pre workout sit. This sits just below the top shelf, and yeah, actually, it's probably fair because they I do miss. I was going to say, for yeah. missing the kind of mental yeah. mental focus aspect, yeah. it's probably a fair price. Yeah. And I then think. the underdosing of some of the active ingredients. So it is, yeah. you know, it's it's pretty much where it needs to be, sixty nine ninety five for the yeah. 20 serves, so $3.50 per scoop. Available now, Vince. Yes, online. It's back, baby. Both flavors are available and in stock as the time at we are recording. That didn't make any sense. As at the time we're recording this basic breakdown. English, please. You know I can speak Spanish. Oh, shit. Vince, do you have anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on on your mobile, your cell phone, your desktop PC, and whatever other device you're watching this video on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to all these new additions, a basic breakdown, and everything else we've got popping on the YouTube channel. Until next time, where are we coming to and from? Vince. MassiveJoe's.com. Stay Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.